Hey guys and welcome to the Rustic Willow. So today I'm going to show you guys how to make vanilla. So it's super, super easy and it doesn't take a lot and you can cheaply make really expensive stuff from your own house instead of paying a lot of money going to a store and buying real vanilla extract. So first what we're going to need, any bottle of vodka, rum, bourbon, anything you want to use. You can totally use it. Um, my husband just picked up this at the local grocery store, so this is just what I have on hand. You are going to want a funnel. I'm going to be using a quart mason jar today. You can also break it up and use smaller mason jars. You would just cut your vanilla beans in half versus using whole ones for this. You want a knife for splicing down the center of your vanilla beans. Of course, I need some scissors. And then my vanilla beans are from Vanilla. My sister also uses them. And these are grade A Madagascar beans. They have um, seven pieces. You can actually pick how much you want in quantity from this place. I honestly have them within the same week that I ordered them because they're out of the United States. So let's get started. So we're gonna cut our beans. Let's get them out. I just gotta say, I love my cutting board. My brother-in-law and my nephews made it for me for Christmas. It's like the best. All right, these seriously smell so amazing, oh my gosh. All right, so just very carefully, we are going to cut down the center of these. This just helps get all the flavor out. So you want to just cut down so they're a little bit open. I'm gonna do that a little bit harder. So for my quart jar, I'm going to actually use all my beans. Um, there are seven in here. Typically you would use five to six beans if you're going to do a quart size. If you wanted to do smaller sizes like the little pint jars, you could um, cut all your vanilla beans in half and you could make little jars off that. Now, when doing this, you do want to make sure that you have a place that you can put these, like room temperature, preferably dark, so that the sunlight doesn't affect them. And um, some of these are a little harder. And it takes about six weeks to get actual vanilla extract. You can definitely leave them in longer, like if you're wanting a richer flavor and then what I like about it is I like to pour this off into my actual vanilla extract jar that I use and you can top it back off with more vodka, bourbon, rum, whatever you're using and you just want to make sure that your vanilla beans are nice and covered because they can get kind of slimy if you don't cover them back up with more vodka. You can do this a couple times so that you have um, extra vanilla extract and then you're getting your money's worth out of the beans. So I'm gonna just stick this in here. Now, my beans are kind of tall. Um, I have nice long beans. So we'll just fill this up. Now, optimal vanilla extract, honestly, would be like letting it sit for six months, but I do so much cooking, I don't have time to leave it for six months. All right, so I guess we know a quart jar uses literally an entire bottle of vodka. 
so now that we have that done, I'm gonna shake that off. Put that over here in the sink. And you are literally done. That's it. That's how easy it is. So I'm gonna go put these on a shelf down in my canning cupboard. And I'm gonna let these sit for a couple months so that I have the perfect vanilla extract.